Well, guys, at least we're consistent. We didn't see much again today. I've seen everybody's knocking down big bucks except for me, which, I don't know, typically goes that way. Usually struggle till the bitter end. Ah, we're still having fun. We're having good hunts. Whoa, Joe's looking at me weird and I said we're having fun, but we're having a, uh, we got to see a beautiful sunrise this morning. We got out in the stand, so who knows how many more years we have to do this. So we'll enjoy every November we get. This afternoon, I think we're gonna go back over to the farm we hunted about a week ago. We saw a lot of deer. We're gonna head there this afternoon and should be a good evening. It's gonna be chilly, little wind. Looking forward to it. We'll see you guys here in a little while. Real Trees Midwest Whitetail is brought to you by Cuddyback, Drake Non Typical, Easton Arrows, Frigid Forage, Fuse, Grizzly Coolers, Hoyt, and Real Tree. Well, I was getting ready to do a little shooting here this afternoon, and I see we've got some casualties again. This one got his head ripped off. The antelope, not sure what happened to him. We're gonna have to go look. He got torn in half, I think. <laughs> oh Lord, this is hilarious. We really gotta put a camera out here. Oh man, he broke both of the antlers off. Oh, now I've got to shoot at a doe. Let's go check the antelope. Look at this. So the interesting thing is you look how tall those stakes are. He had to lift the thing right off the stand. probably around the 1st of November. We had a really good hunt, actually. Saw a couple of mature bucks right at dark. And quite a few deer, so... The anticipation's a little higher tonight than what it has been, for good reason. Well, we'll slip in there and see how we get along. we sit in here we had a good sit we we're on a little different wind tonight we've got kind of a north northeast wind which normally I want to hunt this on a northwest which carries back in that big bean field but we hunted about 300 yards south of here a few days ago and we saw a lot of deer actually be on the east side of this stand so I thought well let's try something a little different we're taking the wind back toward this pond one trail we've got one good trail that comes up right here they get downwind of but we're up probably 10 or 15 feet higher than the deer will be i mean in addition to the stand because it drops off back there so we're just we're going to try it and see how we do and see if it works but there's they come from just about everywhere here so we've got a lot of opportunities coming from all directions where they wouldn't wind us anyway so set in here a couple hours see how it goes one other thing we'll have to see if it comes into play is we're kind of on an island with these locust trees. It's the only thing here, so we're pretty much skyline. 
actually had a pretty good set. We seen, I don't know, maybe a dozen deer. That one nice buck, that eight point came down real close, but just can't get the right deer in front of us. We're struggling, but I don't know, the tougher it is, the more persistent I get, it seems like. Although I am going to give Joe a couple mornings off so he can spend some time with his wife, and maybe sleep in, drink coffee, or whatever he does in the morning, but so we're going to be back with you tomorrow afternoon. I'm not sure where we're 